Welcome to the GCN Tech Show. This week we've got new bikes from Trek and Eddie Merckx, we've got Hacks by the Pros, your upgrades, the Bike Vault Plus, Lloydie's been on the hunt for tech. Plus, well, as you can see, John's back. He's alive, contrary to the rumours, he'd not died. You, st you started to spread those rumours. The tour may be over for another year, and we're sad. But fear not, we've got one more dose of hot tour tech for you, courtesy of Lloydie, who was over there during the final week. Over to Dan so he can show you what he found. Been joined by Casper Asgreen, second at the Tour of Flanders this year. Uh, we just noted that you've got your time trial bars incredibly close together. What's the idea behind that? Uh, aero, <laughs> aerodynamics mainly. Um, yeah, the more narrow you can get for for most people, uh, the better, the faster you are, less air resistance, and yeah, I can tuck my head down uh, nice, uh, nice and low, uh, behind my hands, so and break the wind uh, very efficiently. I noticed you're the only rider that's got their time trial bike out here on the rest day. Uh, are you looking forward to that time trial impose? Is that a big aim? Yeah, it uh, for sure has been a big aim for a long time. Um, I've, uh, I'm mainly here in the Tour de France to, to help our leaders, so uh, this time trial is, is uh, more or less the only chance I'm going to get, so I've been looking forward to it for a long time. Hot tech now, and fresh out of America and Trek, they've just launched themselves a new road bike, the all-round road bike, the third iteration of the Demane, and there's been lots of rumours and murmurs around this for quite some time, but we can confirm it's going to be disc brake only. Yeah, and according to Trek, it's more aero. But you would have never have guessed that. And also, it's uh, gravel compatible, so to speak. You can take up to 38 millimeter tires in it, which is pretty cool, I'd say. Oh, I'm glad it's gravel compatible. Yeah, yeah. I was worried about that. And also, the bike uh, continues down the path of sort of versatility, so you've got less integration than you have on a lot of new bikes that are coming out deliberately to make it more versatile. And also it's said to be 27% more compliant than before, according to Trek. But my favorite feature, Go on. Right, there's a storage box in the down tube for your sandwiches. For your sandwiches? Mm. Another new bike now, and Eddie Merckx bikes, who sponsor AG2R Le Mondial, have not one, but three new bikes. It's called the Corsa and it's made from steel. Oh yeah, steel is real. Yeah, now it was first ridden by Oliver Nason in the final stage of this year's tour down the Champs-Élysées and he was riding the rim brake one. But there's two other models, a disc brake one and a gravel one. Oh, great, absolutely brilliant. Right, anyway, these- I'm a gravel convert now. <laughs> yeah, he is, he is. You'll have to find out why pretty soon. Uh, now these steel frames, the Corsa Road rim, Corsa Road disc, and the gravel one, they're all built by a guy called Johan Franks, who started working for Eddie Merckx as a 16-year-old. So he's been around quite some time now, so he must know his stuff. Yeah. Uh, and those custom frames, you can even have them customized in the colors of your choice too, using a handy little painting tool on their website at mycorsa.com, which I had a little check out and play around with earlier on. But if you don't fancy a top of the range frame built up Columbus XCR, they do actually have some ready to ride uh, standard road bikes and gravel bikes available too. Team Ineos news now, and you know what, John? I think Team Ineos have been watching our show. Do you know what, actually? I know that one of the riders does, but I believe as well that Dave Brailsford is a huge fan of us. The reason for this is that Team Ineos has announced that it's gonna be partnering with Silverstone Paint Technology, who you may remember we spoke about in a couple of shows back because Team Sunweb were using their technology to paint their bikes to keep the weight down. And it's that paint job that costs like, what, 6,000 pounds? 4,000, yeah. 4,000 pounds a go. Um, but it's really, really light and it's used in Formula One cars. Now, yeah. the reason for this is we'd speculate that, well, Team Ineos has been struggling to get the weight of its bikes down to what it would want and uh, that's why they were using lightweight wheels, so. Yeah, I guess they want to get it below 6.8, so that when they start adding on transponders and things like yeah. that, well, it goes up to the magic 6.8 number. Mm. But the good news is, I contacted Silverstone Paint Technology, and they got back to me, and they said we can go and visit. So I am super excited about that. I'm just waiting yeah, to confirm a date. Imagine that, just, I don't know. Can I such a, a, 
don't know. But anyway, either way, we are going to go and hopefully visit them and yeah. uh, check out exactly what it's all about. That'd be really cool. It's really good though as well. You think taking this uh, sort of paint to the next level and how much weight that can be saved with paint, and it starts to open up things like disc brakes. The pe weight penalty from disc brakes could easily be offset by mm -hmm. paint. Yeah. Paint can weigh 300 grams. So. Yeah. Not a problem. Sticking with disc brakes, kind of, well, definitely actually, Simon Yates has been spotted using XTR disc brake rotors on his bike. Maybe they're lighter weight, maybe there's better cooling, maybe, well, it's just what they had laying around in the truck, who knows? Yeah, well, we can speculate all we want, I guess, but I did have um, those disc brake rotors on my bike about three years ago, and I did weigh them compared to the new Dura Ace when they came out. And they are a bit lighter, but it's only like 10 grams for a pair of rotors, so really mm. marginal. But. Yeah, but remember, <laughs> you know, they are looking for every little bit of extra, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, so. I guess. Um, there's also, well, if, according to Shimano, there's slightly less cooling on them because there's less surface area on the rotor, and the Jura Aces, the new Jura Ace rotors are superior, and mm. the Ultegra ones as well. But, I mean, Simon Yates, he's a little dude. Yeah. Probably not he doesn't like, need to worry about that, does he? No, he's probably not cooking brakes too much. I yeah. <laughs> right, Roman Bardet news now. And well, I had a good old look on Getty Images at his brake lever hoods. And well, yeah, you know, when you're banned from going to races like I am, <laughs> you have to look on Getty. Uh, and anyway, underneath his brake lever hoods, he has this really weird padding. Yeah. Now, his levers as well are angled really oddly as well, aren't they? A bit like that Jan Willem van Skip lad. Yeah, not really quite hot. as bad as that. But. No, but they're still going inward, so maybe he's looking for a little bit of marginal gains there. I love using that word. Mm. And But it's just weird he's got that sort of bit of padding underneath. I really yeah. want to go and check out his bike. It's old, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe we can at the Vuelta if he races it. Yeah, good point. I don't reckon he'll race the Vuelta. Mm. Nah. And finally, this week in New Tech, there was a shark attack up towards Val Turen when Nibali attacked won the stage, and he was spotted wearing some rather curious looking city shot shoes that we'd not seen before. Yeah, so they appear to have the double techno push system, I think that's what it's called, anyway, missing, so it makes it a single techno push system fitting. Uh, presumably just to save a little bit of weight, or maybe release a little pressure point on his sort of upper part of his foot, but Nibbly does excess, uh, obsess even over tech, doesn't he? Whenever yeah. we've checked out his equipment in the past, so. Yeah, he's very particular. Yeah. I yeah. love things like that. Yeah, it's pretty good way it worked though, didn't it? Yeah. He had some pretty impressive numbers, didn't he? Yeah, his coach released the data I read and it was, I think he did something like 365 watts normalized uh, for two hours up to win that stage. And this is for a guy that weighs 64, 65 kilograms. Yeah, it's not bad, so, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. almost as good as you, that. Almost. More tech next week. <laughs> Cha ching It's now time for screw riding upgrades by upgrade where you submit evidence of the upgrades that you've made to your bikes or equipment for a chance to win the ultimate prize, the GCN Camelback Eddy water bottle. Have you got it? No, I haven't, no, you've got it. It's at your house. Okay. Right, um, out of interest, Ollie, mm. when you say evidence, what would be the weirdest and but probably most acceptable thing? Cave paintings. There we are, okay. What, with bl blood on the wall? <laughs> so weird. Anyway, last <laughs> week. Submit yours next week. <laughs> yeah. Last week it was between Federico, Federico, that's how Ollie likes it, and Judson. And well, it was absolutely, it was a landslide victory. There wasn't only a landslide in last week's Tour de France, there was a landslide in the vote. Even bigger landslide. Yeah, 90% of the votes went to Judson in that Peugeot wow. in favour. Uh, but yeah, uh, Judson, get in touch with us, mate, on Facebook to arrange delivery of that GCN Camelback any water bottle so you can stay hydrated. Anyway, let's crack on with the first entrant this week, and it's Daniel from Hosselbrook in Denmark. I think you say it something like that. And uh, Daniel's giant TCR. Let's have a look at this then. Daniel's bike was starting to look dull and boring. So after Daniel had seen my cheap bike to superbike videos, he decided you to- You are an inspiration to us all, John. Well, yeah, it's Daniel from Hostelbrook thought so anyway. Uh, Daniel decided to do a makeover and try it himself. Very brave. Uh, the black and blue is before, and the red and black is after. Lovely looking giant TCR, isn't it? That is, yeah. yeah. I mean, he says it's looking tired. That's a nice bike. Yeah, it, it looks absolutely fine, Daniel. Yeah. You just want an excuse to get the spray cans out. Well, and that's actually, after. though, to be fair, he's done a good, cracking job there, yeah. Yeah, it does look good. Well, Daniel faces Mark from Berlin. 
<laughs> yes. So Daniel, um, well, no, 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 he doesn't. Mark decided to restore his late father's uh, Vater, that's German for father, mm. uh, steel road bike, a 1981 Koga Mayata road winner that he continued to ride during group rides, even as his mates all tried to convince him in vain to upgrade to something more modern and light. That always happens on group rides. A lot of, yeah. a lot of peer pressure, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ignore them. Yeah. Now, after standing unused and untouched in a damp garage in the Netherlands for about 10 years, there was a decent amount of rust and wear that needed attention. And so Mark ended up stripping the frame and fork he resprayed it, he applied a new set of Vincent, uh, vintage, I reckon. Yeah, he applied some new vintage decals, or decals as you call them, weirdo. And Stickers, uh, topped, it off as clear coat, topped it off with clear coat, placed saddle, tyres, um, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, really. bottom bracket, brakes, done everything. Right, so let's have a look. Yeah. There you go. So there that must is. be his dad. His father. Yeah, yeah. Mein father. Then uh, there it is before it's been it, done. Yeah. So that's hanging yeah. up, in, hanging up rusty in, yeah. the, in the Netherlands. And then look at that, he's stripping it down. Yeah. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa Mark. That. Steady on. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? That's wonderful. Yeah. Fantastic. Wow, look at it. Oh, gold chain. That is, oh. I mean, that must be a, a Regina chain. Said it's Regina or something That's like that. Look at that. I always I tell you one what, I like, always wanted one. I like the little can he's using to prop it up. That's clever. Ah, yeah, I've got a feeling the next image, let's have a look. I'm sure there's another one. That is a can of like anti rust. Look, that's my German coming out anti rust. Anyway, vote up there, top right hand corner. Who's it going to be? Daniel or Mark? Mark or Daniel? It's now time for the Bike Vault, where you submit pictures of your bikes for a chance to be judged by us as either nice or super nice. If it's super nice, then your bike enters the Bike Vault and the bell gets rung. I've got to say, Ollie, this one is, it's always covered in dust and it was a little bit dry last week. I yeah. watched the show and, yeah. well, you didn't appear to ring it once. It, it's, it's nice, your lawn needs a mow. They're just, they're just, there's nothing was up to standard, John. Wheels aren't quite aligned, sorry. Well, this week is going to be doubly hard, isn't it? Let's face it, because yeah. the enforcers are back <laughs> and no one enforces it like we do, do they? No, right. So remember, if you want to get into the bike vault, use that uploader tool down below and include yeah. loads of information all about you. Really. Anyway, Ollie, who's first up this week, mate? First, first up, we've got friend of the channel, oh, Pietro yeah. Master. Uh, from Canada. Yeah, from, and Canada is, yes, that's in the background, I'm guessing. Now, he has yeah. got his Didaccia uh, there, yellow, and it's pretty much the most Italian bike in the universe. So yeah. Italian frame, Italian group set, Italian wheels, Italian tyres, Italian saddlebag, Italian bottles. Oh no, the pedals are look. Yeah, it's a French, but it's so, close to Italy. Yeah. yeah. And um, he loves Italian stuff, this that's, guy. I can tell. Yeah. Due to his obsession, I think it can only be, I mean, you know, his valves are lined up, aren't they? He's I gone think. all in there, hasn't he? Are they? I'll tell you what, though. In fact, his valves are hidden. Oh, no, 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 he has lined yeah, the valves. He's lined them up with the... He's uh, got no excess steerer. He's lined them up with the grooves in that concrete road. That doesn't look very smooth, does it? No, he's, um, I'll tell you what, there's no Beatty Smalls there, John. No, but do you know what? I do like the angle of the rear derailleur yes. sort of, uh, arm. It's vertical, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and we've got the, the crank arm in the optimum three o'clock position. Yeah, I don't like 12 o'clock, I don't like six o'clock, and nine o'clock is a big no-no. Yes. Three o'clock, perfect, isn't it? Yeah, you sound like Buddy Holly. Not Buddy Holly. Dave, uh, what's his name? I don't know. Rock around the clock. What's the, what's the oh, people? Oh yeah, I don't know. Comets, isn't it? Bill Haley and the Comets. Right, okay, there we are. Bill Haley and the Comets. Either way, Pietro, Super, Super nice. nice. Right, next up we got Malcolm at the office. Uh, it's the Conargo Technos Art Decor with nine speed record group set. Malcolm at the office. Now, we've gone over this, haven't we? Why do people do that? Yeah, what's, where's the office? Yeah, I know where it is, yeah. Slough. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so here we are. Right, so first up, we don't have the three o'clock crank position. No. We don't have the valves in optimum position. Without Biggie Smalls. No. We've got a strange looking saddle. Yeah. 
doesn't really fit with the period of it, does it? It's, it's a weird saddle, but I think it's a nice, but there's yeah, just too nice. many rules being broken here. Yeah, and, and you know, the enforcers are here. Yeah. We lay down the law. Nice. Right, nice bike. Who's next? Uh, we've got Marco, who's uh, from Richmond in, in BC, Canada. Uh, right. That's not a Canadian accent. Okay. And this is his light speed it's a very, entertainment. Very good accent, I'm sure. Whoa, look at that! Right, so what have we got here? Yeah, it's a nice bike, eh? Yeah, it's right. Um, so gold got, chain. Yeah. Boom. Nicely contrasted with the titanium frame that and the, those uh, MV three point fours look rather smart, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. He's lined up the valves. That pedal's well. in a strange position, isn't it? Like the, the crank angle's not ideal. It's just sort of yeah. like half three, four o'clock ish. Yeah. But the pedal is like in position. Yeah. I mean, he's got no extras chucked on, has it? I think, that, I think that's a super nice one, honestly. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. You know, it, it, there, there are a couple of things there, which, yeah. which, but yeah, super nice. Yeah, we do allow a few infringements. Yeah, you know. well, like I, said, I always say this, Ollie. We write the rules, we change the rules. Yeah. As we go along. Right, okay, next up is Griffin from the Mont de Cats, uh, and it's next to the Abbey. Now, Mont de Cats, that's almost on the border of Belgium and France, and it's a really strange place just close by because mm. there's, you're so close to the border, suddenly you find these casinos and slot machines and things like that. And there's even a ski lift very close by as well. But anyway, this is the Specialized. Yeah. And no biggie smalls. Oh God, he's in. What is that gear he's in? That will be small, small, won't mm. it? Mm. It's not ideal mm. there. Mm. Is that a standard paint job or not? Uh, that's 2020 that. colour scheme. Is it? He's one of the first to get it, yeah. He's oh, right. Nice thing. It's very nice, that colour scheme. Specialised do some really nice ones, don't they? Yeah. Um, yeah, that is, that's a very nice looking bike. It's only upgraded from his Rid Rid Ridley uh, Phoenix. Yeah. But that's very nice. I mean, I really like it because he's like, the picture is perfect other than sort of, well, like the bike, sorry, the, the like, position of the bike with everything on it is absolutely spot on, other than Biggie Smalls, isn't it? Well, the but, front wheel's a little bit wonky, I think. Is it? And I'm not, I don't, uh, I don't yeah, know so if I want to condone slightly... resting the bike against the top tube. Yeah, like on, a, on a concrete I mean, that collar. That scratch that nice paint job. Yeah, brand I'd, new as well. I'd be resting it against the sort of back tire and the handlebar. Yeah. Would be, would be my optimum. I wonder if he went in for a beer in there, because they do sell a beer in there. Do they? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, nice bike. Anyway, we digress. Who's next? Hillman from Malaysia. Oh, nice. This is his BMC SLR01 from 2017. Mmm. But, wow. Check out that Mazda. That's the whoa. CX5. Oh, 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 oh whoa, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. The Mazda CX5. I just read the submission, I didn't see the photo. <laughs> Kept that little baby a surprise for us, isn't he? Mazda oh, CX-5 yes. actually begun production back in January 2012, uh, with the second generation actually coming in 2017. Uh, interesting here is that the original models had a range topping 2.2 litre, two-stage turbocharged engine. Ah, the SH VPTS engine. Correct, my friend. Oh, good. Yes. Uh, that popped out 173 brake horsepower, but the second generation has its 2.5 litre turbocharged four cylinder engine, oh, and that pits out a mighty 250 brake. Oh, that PY VPS engine, that is something special, isn't it? It's a piece of kit, isn't it? Yeah. Super nice? Oh, super nice. More bike vault next week. It's nearly time for the end of the show, but before we go, we're going to read some of our favourite comments that you guys did last week on videos, starting with Derek Hobbs. Derek says, I was waiting for someone to barge in and ring the bell. Of course, that was referring to Ollie and his lack of bell ringing during last week's show. It's nothing was up to standard, John. I, I totally We've got agree. Standards. Totally We've got agree. standards. Yep. I'm not, it's not that I'm afraid of the bell. No, definitely not. Anyway, next up, uh, Nicholas Maschiaga. I'm sure you pronounced that correctly. Spot on, yep. nailed it. Yep. Ollie in the bike vault was even harsher than the Tour de France judges that expelled Tony Martin and Luke Rowe. That had a hundred thumbs up. A lot of people agreeing. So there you are. There's at least a hundred people out there who think you are harsher than those uh, commissaires during the Tour de France. And they got a lot of abuse online. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's hope for you yet. Uh, Doug Thorpe said, Ollie, back at around stage 15 or 16 of the Tour de France, 
says, Pino is the best climber right now, at least at the time of recording. I've probably cursed him. Probably giving him the curse now. And then what happened, Ollie? Stage 18, GCN releases video. Stage 19, Pino abandons. Who's next on the GCN curse list? <laughs> well, we're open to bribes, aren't we? Who would you like to see maybe fail at the Vuelta? Fail at the World Championships? We're happy enough to help that. Yeah. No, we're not really. Yeah, but with great power comes we're even like greater We're like witch doctors, aren't we? Yes. Or something like that. And finally, under your video for the Kirk Precision Magnesium Ooh. bike. Oh yeah. Yeah, which is really good. If you've not seen it, go check it out. It's a really interesting piece of engineering. Uh, Wan0003 says, so when your doctor prescribes you supplements and more exercise, this is the bike. Yeah, of course referring to magnesium supplements. Yeah. See what he's done there. Yeah, Nice one, Juan. Yeah. Do you reckon he tried the screen name Juan0001 and two, and then they were taken, so he had to. Don't know. Let us know, Juan, in the comment section <laughs> then below. Uh, right, well, remember to stay tuned to the channel because we've got loads more great content coming up. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe and press that little notification bell too so you get a little bing bong each and every time we put a video live. Yeah, and also, quick call out to the GCN shop because we've got a sale on at the moment. It's our summer sale, up to 60% off something. So, Bargains. Yeah, if you want to get your hands on some cool GCN threads, look as cool as us, head on over. Shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. See you next week. Link yeah. to John's video here. And link to Ollie's just down here. The unboxing.